Coming off a soul-crushing defeat this weekend, the Raiders find themselves in a seemingly insurmountable hole to make the playoffs. Now, I know I know what you guys are saying. Playoffs? Playoffs? But hey, man, it is what it is. And the Raider Equinox is still upon us. And we have to think in a mindset that this team can, will, and should make the damn playoffs. Now, I know Bill Parcells once said, you are what your record says you are. Now, I think that our record is not telling the true tale of how good this football team is. I think they just need to get things on track a little bit. You know, the bleak history. Since the merger, teams that start 0-2 since 1970, just 38 teams have made the playoffs out of 400, man. And that, that's that's pretty bad. So you got us, the Bengals, the Panthers, and the Falcons, also, also the Houston Texans. Out of all of those two teams... Us and the Cincinnati Bengals are pretty much expected to be players in the AFC. And I don't see any reason why that can't change. Now, many pundits have had us outside of the playoffs since before the season. But what do they know? I mean, hell, this is Chris Sims' prediction, and he doesn't know anything. So, what we need to do is, one, the nation needs to hold Derek Carr accountable. I know Derek goes up there and says all the right things, and he says it's on me. But you know what I mean? Talk is cheap at this point, and we need to make sure... That we as a nation, pundits alike, need to hold Derek Carr accountable. You know it's bad when I agree with Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith had a scathing take on Derek Carr, and I can't say I disagree with him. But Derek has to play better. Historically, Derek Carr has been a turnover machine, and that's the one thing that he needs to really uh, stop. He's also staring down the wrong receivers, as you can see here in this play. You know, he had some open options and he probably could have completed this pass and ended this game for a win. So we need to clean up those mistakes. Like I said, historically, Derek Carr has been a turnover machine, man. He has 80 turnovers and he 45 lost turnovers in the last five seasons, man. And he's led the NFL in that. And he's definitely need to fix that if he wants to get ahead. Now, Josh McDaniel. Josh McDaniel, with all his experience with being an offensive coordinator for New England Patriots, I think too much has been said of his experience. Josh McDaniel is still a head coach who is green. And we need to make sure that he does the right thing and stay within the parameters of what works in football and what works for this offense is giving the ball to Josh Jacobs and our running backs. We need to kind of take this offense and run it through the running backs and have Derek Carr be a, tear, a caretaker of sorts. You know, throwing the ball all around is not really working out for us, even though we have explosive skill position players. I think we need to go back to what worked for us to get us to the playoffs last year. Now, if you look Last year, when Josh Jacobs had 100 yards, man, we, we were damn near undefeated. And in the last four games of the season, Josh Jacobs pretty much carried us to the playoffs on the back of D.C. Now, you know, sometimes people have ego issues and sometimes people want to get their things to work. But you got to adjust in real time. And that's one of the big challenges that Josh McDaniel is going to have. Now, another thing that we are facing this week is we're facing a must-win game. Yes, week three, a must-win game. We have to go in and beat the lowly Titans. And the Tennessee Titans are lowly on paper because as you can see, their starting quarterback, who might not be their starting quarterback by Sunday, is the lowest rated passer in the National Football League right now. And we can't afford another Derek Carr bad performance. I mean, this seriously could be a situation where if Derek Carr and the Raiders lose this game, we're gonna be looking ahead to drafting a quarterback next year. The defense has to show up big. Nate Hobbs has been showing up big all season. And I have no doubts that they'll show up, but it's not really on the secondary. This game is gonna be won by our group up front and our linebackers because we have to face King Henry himself, the former Heisman Trophy winning juggernaut, you, you know, King Henry. And He's pretty hard to stop, but he really hasn't had a whole lot of success around us. And Dion, Devon Diablo and the rest of this linebacker group are going to have to answer the call if we're going to propel forward into the playoffs, guys. I mean, if you look at the numbers, Henry really hasn't done that great against us, man. He has two touchdowns in three games, and it hasn't like it hasn't been like Derrick Henry's really killed us, man. So I think if we neutralize Derrick Henry, that is going to pretty much bag this game up. We need to run the ball and we need to stop the run. But always be mindful. Like Bill Parcell said, you are what your record says you are. So let's hopefully, at the end of the season, our record says that we're winners and we're going to the playoffs. Everybody, let me tell you something. If you'd like, hit that subscribe button. We on a race to 10K. It's your brother wasted. Might be going live later. You guys tell me in the comments if you want me to go live, man. 
I'm out of here. Have a good night. Hey, Nation, don't forget, the season's not over. Never give up. Raider Equinox. Let's go. Beat Tennessee, y'all.